everyone welcome to another episode of expert matters only on isbr's official youtube channel today we have mr rajesh bhardwaj with us welcome to the show thank you shruti thank you good evening to all thank you so much sir for joining let me start by introducing him he is the ceo of benzins technology private limited cmo and co-founder of bridzo healthcare and also the director of brain cell technology uh, solutions so he is doing multitasking he is doing a lot of top level senior authority work all together we welcome him to share his experience and journey with us mm -hmm. to provide us motivation and become our inspiration in our career journey welcome to the show sir thank you once again shruti thanks a lot so sir we'll start with your journey please tell us about your career journey as senior position so many senior positions all together ceo founder director uh it was very fortunate uh, for me to get such kind of an opportunity uh, uh thank to my parents blessings and uh, to the almighty as well i started my career as a branding executive with samsung telecom in way back in 1996 and predominantly my job was to identify the channel partners who used to sell mobile phones mm -hmm. and stick a poster of the mobile phone uh, a poster and as well as put the dummy pieces and educate them on kind of that is how my career uh, got started in 1996 after my post graduation uh -huh. but of course i was very determined to get into uh, sales level activities where the public relationship and communication played a major role Mm -hmm. so i was good with the channel partners it was a recognition it was a hands on support which used to get delivered which allowed me to get into a sales executive position from then onwards uh, with all the blessings with all the hard work and determination i could never uh, look back in my career so from 96 to 98 when uh, post my branding executive role got into channel manager then the regional head for south then got picked up from samsung headquarters as a product planning head for india and that is when you people would have seen the very new uh, generation of phones like uh, blue uh, screen mp3 enabled phones right. dual display phones and uh, everything got displayed into the market and post that in 2004 i uh, moved on to a chinese multinational company which was again into a telecom uh, industry itself called zte corporation mm -hmm. i uh, took up a role of national uh, sales head uh, predominantly i am a sales guy shruti so most of my uh, experience revolves around the uh, sales related activities so from national sales head uh, we were the first people to uh, clog in one of the biggest order uh, in india of uh, 1100 crores for ntnl during that time i'm talking about 2004 Right. and then i moved on as a product uh, sales head uh, and i moved out of india uh, was based out of shenzhen from 2006 onwards i got promoted as an apac head i used to take care of both uh, asia pacific african countries and gcc uh, uh, territory for so the sales of uh, mobile phones as well as all telecom equipments of the uh, zte corporation so i that was my longest tenure with uh, a telecom giant uh, even today they are the cheapest uh, cdma handset manufacturers in the world so till 2014 i was uh, with zetis starting from 2004 uh, almost a decade then moved back to india for various reason then started my own uh, event management company based out of hyderabad uh -huh. did wonderfully well i in fact i joined an existing company as a, a sales director and then we were the people who first uh, uh, introduced the uh, fashion week concept in uh, oh, wow. hyderabad hyderabad fashion week was the oldest uh, fashion week concept which got introduced right nice. branding marketing and media was always my uh, uh, passion so i entered into event management did well moved uh, back to bangalore after that in 2016 and joined uh, one of the it companies called mn world enterprise private limited as a director of operations uh -huh. did well uh, there uh, stabilized the entire business operations and everything till 2019 then moved on to a uh, healthcare vertical which i am currently uh, on and uh, 
uh, putting my efforts in growing and reaching to the heights which it, it requires. So 2019 onwards, I'm with uh, Venzins Technology. Predominantly, we are into healthcare technology application development in Venzins. And uh, as a co-founder and a CMO with uh, uh, Aristo Healthcare Private Limited, basically into product and device-based healthcare solution is what uh, we develop in Aristo. And we are considered to be uh, the early entrance of care continuum uh, facility. So Risto is basically into a care continuum services. So on the whole, we are, I have currently, I am now uh, spearheading a, a, a Risto and Venzin uh, to scale up and reach the market heights. So going good. So that's about my uh, journey, Shruti. That's pretty amazing, sir. We, uh, I guess in the corporate world or in any business world throughout the globe, a lot of people struggle to reach the top level of the organization, but you are holding three big top level positions all together <laughs> and in different uh, Fortunately. companies. Fortunately. That's a pretty challenging and task. I, I, as I, well must, as... I must thank my uh, partners and my mentors for enabling me or making me uh, capable of handling such kind of position or the trust what they have inherited in me. Right, sir. Definitely, definitely. So, but so what was your inspiration behind journey. all the success? Inspiration in the sense, see, I was very selfish, to be frank with you, from the day one in a very positive note. Whenever someone used to uh, get on to the dayas and get awarded from any of my companies, I used to try to get that recognition and appreciation always. But self-challenging, it worked for me. you. It helped you reach your career to heights. That 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 should be the attitude. Every uh, new guy who is entering or who is starting their career, right. uh, tenure in their life, because money flows in. The moment you get recognition, your hard work definitely pays off. I am the best example. I can proudly say that. So money should not be the concern when you are talking about when your uh, experience and exposure, it is the recognition and appreciation you should strive for. Right, so right. So which will definitely enable you to learn every day, face new challenges, think out of the box solutions, approach and presentation, which will definitely uh, get you those appreciation and recognition, right. which will get you the money as well. So it is not about the packages which which we should be working upon. A lot of students of our age are focusing on the packages rather than the all the hard work. But uh, they don't um, understand the difference between the two. I must say, uh, see, I uh, do uh, visit a lot of colleges, MBA colleges in Hyderabad region and Bangalore region as a guest speaker for uh, related to uh, sales public relationship uh, classes, uh, uh, talks and kind of. What I have seen is, unfortunately, there is an expectation which has built. And uh, even during the counseling sessions, people uh, do uh, come up with a, uh, a note saying that, okay, the minimum package to start with will be around six lakhs per year. So in fact, uh, frankly speaking, it is not a, a drawback from the college or it is not a shortfall from the college. We need to be capable of gaining that six lakhs rupees packages when you enter into campus interviews. Right, right. Any employer who visits will definitely look forward for certain qualities or attitude in a student where it, it should assure him that, okay, the student carries an attitude of learning. We do understand, we do understand while going for campus interviews that, okay, nobody, is, uh, nobody at a graduation level is a finished good. There is a lot to learn in the market than uh, on a theoretical way of learning. Right. So when we see that attitude or uh, the kind of uh, hunger of learning, uh -huh. we don't mind putting money onto such kind of an individual rather than a money-oriented or a money-minded uh, Individual. Right, right. So definitely. that is how you get opportunity. You start getting opportunity, you should grab it, put yourself into that, be the owner of your career. Nobody right, can right. design your career. So you take a call, you want to get on to uh, the next level, be there. 
definitely sir that's how i that's what i generally tell my people so i must have uh, trained more than uh, 5000 plus guys in sales under me all these while after about 23 years of my career line i started very early so a uh, lot of some 3000 plus distributor some hundreds of channel partners and kind of who were i was fortunate enough to meet greet them learn a lot every day was a learning every individual was uh, a different so you need to be all ears you need to be open minded open right. eyes open ears and open mind will allow you to learn a lot of new things right right definitely so i totally agree what you say uh, so being at such senior position it not everybody's cup of tea so what are the major challenges and major responsibility at such senior level of an, any organization or any company you have worked with major responsibilities wise i must say uh, that okay you are you are you, you need to ensure that okay your operations are intact Right. You need to have a very balanced approach towards all the team members, and most importantly, uh, your employees will definitely look upon you. Right. Uh, you. They will look at you as an idol or a mentor, kind of. So, be patient, be calm, listen to them, hear them out, understand their problem, put yourself into their shoes, and then address their problem. They will definitely have a solution, or they will get aligned with you. the most important and the biggest challenge what we have today in the industry is retention retaining an employee uh, who carries the required skill set is the major challenge mm-hmm. either of the uh, uh, the challenge comes out in terms of uh, while while i'm talking about uh, retaining a guy there are personal problems there are financial crises there are new and bigger opportunities which comes up to them because of his, their capabilities what they would have earned or they would have got it through their hard work and experience mm-hmm. retaining such kind of people becomes a major challenge in right. uh, a top management and moreover in the day to day operations yes you are uh, fund management your compliances and lot of other uh, regular challenges which comes to but i i would definitely say that okay if you have a, a patient and calm mind that's the answer for all your challenges right so right so talking about the challenges you mentioned recognition and uh, retaining employees is a big big time challenge today faced by all the companies and especially by the senior level authorities but what are the skills set to be developed when someone wants to work at such Uh, top level management because you struggle with a lot of tasks all together you have to look into all the departments all the domains and all those micro macro things everything all together so what are the skills to be developed when somebody wishes to reach the higher authority be one among the team you are not the boss <laughs> you need to understand that okay organization is not because of you you are because of the organization it is a cumulative effort from every individual which has kept you as a boss maybe because of your experience and your exposure or some of your personally built skill set you must have been you must have reached that height but that sustainability is because of your team without team you are nothing and there is no organization so you need to be one among the team that is the most important thing as per me for uh, being there in a managerial position and uh, the best part which one as a skill set needs to develop is to be compassionate to be the owner to guide to learn to always be a mentor kind of a thing uh-huh. rather than pushing your thoughts on to someone listen to them allow them to perform there is nothing which is going to go wrong if you fail there is absolutely there is a second chance and you can always better yourself so never comment or never uh, point out a failure encourage an employee to do it again in a better way and you will start getting the best result once you assure them the security once you uh, allow them to explore or invent or experiment then you are always on top of everything so that is the kind of quality uh, a senior manager or a senior management guys need to carry where 
you should allow uh, your employees to work out. Find them out. Let them come back to you when it is required. They know when they have to come back to you for the suggestion or to discuss. When they come, please be humble, accommodate them, listen to them, and try to correct them wherever they are going wrong. Rather than guiding them with a solution, allow them to think over, counsel them, and let them find a way. Let them find a way for their problem or their challenge. They would definitely excel. And if your employees are excelling, then obviously the result is your organization is also excelling. Definitely, sir. So whatever we have discussed through this entire session, I have definitely I would like to add on some points from my behalf. Uh, one of the skill set would definitely be down to earth because whatever I have understood from you from the discussion we had, definitely all of your team members and all your employees would be more than happy and lucky to have you as their mentor which is being one of them among the okay. crowd and not being a boss itself. So it's amazing thing, amazing place to work and such peaceful and nice working environment. I could imagine. Most welcome. Most welcome for any newcomer to work with us. I have always uh, thought or I have always of an opinion that, okay, you take this exposure and experience. Fortunately, even we have learned from someone, they allowed uh, themselves to teach us and that is what even I want to do so whoever is interested whoever wants to work with us in terms of sales in terms of understanding or gathering the domain knowledge they're absolutely absolutely welcome and also having so much faith and trust on your employees is one of the biggest thing a person at senior or level authority can have so it's such a nice thing to of have course. in your workplace of course, as I said that, okay, without employees, you are not the boss. You right. can't uh, call yourself as a boss being a single <laughs> employee under an organization. Right, so you right. need to have such kind of people who uh, gather such courage of uh, uh, courage to experiment. And that can happen only when we allow them. Right, and right. I am always, always of a opinion, as I said, that, okay, I want them to commit mistakes. Unless they commit the mistake, they will definitely not understand what is right and what exactly uh, which suits into the market. Uh -huh. Every market, uh, the thing is, uh, it is a harsh truth. Every region has a different culture. Every right. market is different. The kind of market, the people's mentality in Kerala is different compared to your Delhi market. Delhi right. and Kerala are entirely different from Kolkata market. All three markets are totally different from Mumbai market. So if you if you don't allow your people to get on to the nerves of those culture and understand it and strategize the approach, you cannot have it as a, uh, a, I mean, theoretical knowledge that okay, this is how the approach should be and this is how something can happen. No, every other individual thinks different. So you allow them, experiment, let them commit mistake, right. welcome those mistakes ask them to analyze their mistake and come out where it has gone wrong the day when an employee come back with his own solution it is going to be long lasting and a corrective solution rather than you guiding them amazing sir amazing i guess every uh, senior authority should have a mindset like you hats off to your uh, inspiration you. and Thank trust you. faith in your employees so, sir, we have come almost question. to the end of the video. I would lastly uh, like to ask you one line of motivation for everybody watching this video right now. One line of motivation for uh, all the students, you mean to say, or uh, how is it? Everybody, so, sir, me... in, including uh, students from various domains, not just management students. My motto, what I have followed is, trust yourself. Everything is possible. There right. is nothing call which is not possible maybe our approach the time or our way of looking at a something might get different from point to point but if you trust yourself if you are confident enough and if you carry positive vibes there is absolutely nothing which you cannot achieve that's yeah. what i follow right so that is pretty amazing Pretty amazing. I am taking some time to absorb it. And that was so inspirational. The entire session. I personally enjoyed. I personally loved talking to you. Thank you so much for giving Thank time you. out of your busy schedule. It means a lot to us.
thank you very much shruti thanks for uh, getting in touch and i wish you and all your students and all in the college staff everybody and all the very best a new financial year has started and there are a lot of people who will be coming out as a new uh, uh, job seekers right so as i uh, said i am reiterating most welcome anybody can approach us uh in terms of uh, technology uh, domain or in terms of sales domain or operations domain we are very open to give an opportunity and explore new talents and ensure that okay they att- attain stability in their career life amazing so sir much. i'll spread and the word the very best. i will definitely Please. spread the word and i will attach the link of your linkedin profile in the description of this video so that everybody interested mm-hmm. working under such amazing boss would definitely approach you personally so thank you very much thank, thank you, you very so much see you all the very best once again thank you so much best. for joining thank me. you bye bye thank you